see we have started this batch on february 21st okay so day one day two day three three days completed by this time and today is day four so day one we discussed about again i'm repeating what is bpm and what is pega its purpose its purpose in the real world and day two i have explained about high level architecture of pega so what is the architecture of pega that's why we have seen on day two plus additionally what we have seen doubts and queries okay and again day three also we have gone through the same doubts and queries plus last to 15 minutes i did not tell you about installation but after you install what will be created on desktop what will be created on desktop three icons will come startup login shutdown may not be the same order i just arranged in the in this order and you must have installed prbc on some drive in your laptop right c drive or d drive somewhere there you can see prpc personal edition folder what is the folder prpc but this folder will get created it will be around 12 gb okay so in this folder so many files will be there other folders and files that is just for your information see for many of you you would have received after installation is done you would have received automatically a login screen pega login screen like this okay let me show you log off this is what i told yesterday i just i am repeating for two minutes okay this is how you will get a login screen for some of you very few members this login screen may not be automatically popping up but no problem we can manually bring it see anytime you want to work on pega you must be going to log into pega so once you log in then you start working on it right so how do you log in do you have default credentials with you it was been given in the video i have asked you to watch the video closely and then do follow everything and do it okay it was being told in the video at the end so the beginning of the video is installation instructions and the end of the video will be after installation is done how to log into pega okay yesterday also i told the same okay now here you go see all all of these days day one day two day three what has happened all that we have added in the google classroom if you come to this google classroom you can open the document open in a new window and then you can download these documents okay pega ppt demo and course content faq document of your doubts and queries again faq document here day one video day two video google drive link to download the pega software 8.7 version after downloading how to install following the video this video pega prps 8.7 version software installation step by step video this video only will tell you about how to install how to log in you will be able to do it for sure and again on day three also we added all that again and all three videos we have placed in single message okay and day four i will be adding the required documents so uh, for to all of you we have shared google classroom link once you click on the link you can join the classroom is there anyone here attending today for you today is the first class anyone is there like that anyone attending here today as a first class either online or offline today itself you are attending started you started so you must be sending a whatsapp message to us those who are attending today take your phone right away and send a whatsapp message on this number mention your name comma pega class today first session please share previous uh, sessions recordings and documents the same message you send first at the very beginning you just mention your name clear everyone online also so if you send this message my team will connect with you and they will be sharing you 
the previous whatever that is been done as a Google Classroom link. What they will share? Google Classroom link they will share plus they will add you into broadcast, add you into broadcast so that from tomorrow you will receive the updates. Okay, so here you go now. See, uh, let's go back here. So after your installation is done, you can log into Pega by using default credentials administrator at the rate pega.com password is install how does other people knows about it if i was not given some people told i have not given it right you know it because it is there at the end of the video okay so that is what you log in but as of now you don't know anything about pega i did not tell you what is there in the environment i'll not be telling you now i'll tell you after some time so because you are a beginner just after installation is done log in and see okay login is successful then log out okay done you should never close this command prompt directly this command prompt will be running after your installation is done right if you directly close that means you are killing the server process this command prompt will show you the status of the server see when you install pega it has installed prpc java tomcat application server and pega is deployed on that application server Anytime you wanted to get the login screen of Pega, you need to click on login button on desktop. You will get. If you're getting login screen means server is up and running. If you're not getting login screen, server is not started. Then, so by this time, after your installation is done, I think all of you must have might have closed this directly. Yes or no? Maybe. End of the video, did I tell you you should not close directly? Did I say that? I don't remember. Did I say yeah. if you have followed till the end, you would have closed the proper by shutdown. So this should never be directly closed. Please mute. This should never be directly closed. Instead, you should double click on the shutdown. This will not properly work sometimes, even for me. I don't much bother about this. This is not your job in reality. In real time, it will not be like this. In real time, Pega will be installed on a server. Okay. You, you are a team of five developers, for example. You are you are being provided with laptop. Here you are installing on your laptop, right? In real time, in your laptop, Pega will not be installed. Where Pega will be installed? In a server. Server means you can connect by URL. So after it is installed in server, they will give you this URL. PR servlet is there. Up to this URL will be there. PR servlet. This URL will be given to every developer. Pega is installed on a server. That server is always up and running. URL will be given to you. You are being provided with a laptop, right? Open your browser. Okay. Then give that URL. You will be able to access Pega environment. Environment will be same. No difference. But the thing is, there it is a server separately installed. Here it is local machine for practice. Both are same. Only thing is local machine, remote server. Okay. And there is nothing like startup shut down login in reality why because server will be maintained by admin team who will maintain that they will make sure to start or restart or stop or anything always server will be up and running 24 by 7 no need to worry okay this is for our version practice for our practice now after you double click on shutdown what should happen is this command prompt should close automatically after a few minutes but for me also i am facing some issues I am repeating once again the same whatever I have told yesterday. Because I am facing issues, I forcefully closed it. If I try to start now, it won't start. So anytime if you want to work on Pega, server should be up and running. That command prompt should be always open all the time. It should be up and running. Otherwise, you do not get login screen. You will not be getting. See, it is not unable to connect. So the steps are, remember this order. Start up first. And then what is the next task? After startup is successfully done, login. And what is the next task? Not immediately. Step down is not immediately. You practice an environment, right? Today, okay, you finished for today. You are going to shut down your machine. Before that, first you shut down the PRPC server. Okay. And then you can shut down your laptop. See, for me, I'll not shut down my laptop for a week. I'll not even stop the server for a week. I'll leave it as it is. Okay, even night time also i leave it as it is okay so but i am not recommending you to do that so whenever you are going to shut down your laptop okay before that shut down Pega. 
suppose today morning you want to work for two hours evening also one hour after two hours is completed don't shut down server minimize the window to do your work evening also once you finish then you shut down the server and then your machine understand i am going to start up now it won't start so when it will not start properly you will not get the login screen i told you work around i wanted to show once again that's why i did it again any time when you are not able to bring up the server by startup icon what you need to do go to prpc personal edition folder tomcat kafka data select this and shift delete don't delete the above one above one if you delete pega will not work kafka data we will be using this folder in future this is temporary workaround don't bother about it yes it will prevent deleting one lock file usually today it did not prevent yesterday it has prevented i have shown you if it prevents open the kafka data folder there will be a file by name lock l o c k shift to delete that that will also again be prevented keep, keep on click on yes 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 it will be deleted come back again and delete kafka data folder shift to delete okay done this is the work around completed now i can go ahead and start up the server for you guys it may take sometimes it may take even 15 minutes initially for first one week it is possible that your pega environment will be slow irrespective of ram size you have 16 gb ram still pega may be slow not your laptop your laptop should be functioning as usual how it was functioning before same speed pega environment may be slow for first one week even if you have 16 gb ram that is only for one week because it has to create a lot of cash once cash is created it will be faster automatically so possibility is there for one week the pega environment will be a little slower understand everyone clear okay just wait So we, we have to wait till the server comes up. How do you understand the server is up and running? At some point in time in this messages, you will see a message called start, server startup in so and so milliseconds. You'll see that message, but it is difficult to find out that message in the running window. These many messages are there. So what we can do is you don't even need to look for it. Minimize this, should not close it. Minimize this, do what? double click on login then it will start keep on loading you can see here it is keep on loading right wait for a while so wait for a while to get it loaded it will get loaded successfully upon the server is started successfully okay so here you go now just i will wait on this so so far everyone clear what is the practice start up wait for a while login Login screen will come and you log in and you practice everything while you are practicing. This window should never be closed. What you should be doing instead? Minimize this all the time while you are practicing. Okay. And then you are going to work on it. There is no use. Everyone in a class cut and die value. Anyone who is attending this class, either online or offline, if you are able to connect or join the session by 8 o'clock and come here by 8 o'clock, then only you have to join. Okay, 8, 5, 8, 10, no need. Take rest for that day because when regular classes start, you do not understand entire one hour if you are missing first five minutes. Okay, please keep in mind that you must be attending on time. That is most important and here you go now. Login screen has come in, server has started successfully. See, sometimes on home version server, I'm seeing so many Java exceptions and all. I don't much bother about it. As long as I'm able to work on Pega environment, I don't bother about errors in server. Okay, if I'm not able to log in and do, then only I'll think about it. Okay. And now, what are the default credentials? Administrator at the rate pega.com. Password install we are going to start now okay let's go ahead with technicals okay so i have repeated whatever i have told yesterday till till now and every day for for first to five minutes i will repeat the previous session okay and then we will start the current session everyone clear so far see 
if i am not audible please reconnect please reconnect quickly if i am not audible others able to hear me okay so this person whoever has messaged that i am not audible if i am not audible you must be reconnecting if my voice is not audible please check the mic and speakers from your end others able to hear me properly i got confirmation please reconnect if possible that to quickly do it okay that's for your information now see any environment if you are trying to log in okay there you see the login id and password right see if you want to access a net banking application definitely you are going to log in that you call as customer id what do you call it customer id password is password wherever it is if you are trying to log into gmail what do you call it gmail id password facebook fb id password like that here in pega login id is a generic terminology either username or login id this terminology is very generic we use but there will be a specific terminology as per the environment that you are accessing for pega the terminology is called as operator id what is the terminology i will just uh, do it hold on i will create one document also what is that operator id so operator id what does it mean this is a technical word simply for your understanding as of now as a beginner you don't need to go to too technical okay it is a login id which we use in order to log in to pega to access its applications to access its applications so operator id is the login id which we use in order to log into prpc to access its applications everyone clear this is day one of actual sessions okay again we consider it as day one okay of actual sessions apart from demo understand clear okay this is the beginning so what is the operator id if they ask you an interview you should not tell this because this is as a basic beginner learner i am telling you it is a login id technically if i have to tell you operator id is an instance of class data admin operator id which will have an access group and which is mapped to an application access roles and portal so but you don't understand all that now so that's why i did not talk about it you'll be learning that in the future classes but for now as a beginner so i wanted to tell you functionally so operator id is the login id which we use in order to log into prpc system to access its applications everyone clear now see this is one point i want to tell you apart from this first of all what is pega rules process commander environment what is pega rules process commander environment so i told you this what is pega rules process commander environment i already told you so what is pega rules process commander can anyone tell me pega rules process i'm asking the question different question i'm asking what is pega rules process commander i'm asking question what is prpc that's what i'm asking the different roles to prpc is what the different roles and the regulations are followed by the used to develop business process management applications without the need of coding and also we can use its ready made functionalities yes or no send email notification mm -hmm. i have shown right pega prpc is used to do application development without need of coding and also we can use its ready made functionalities this is one point about what is pega okay all this will be available in the document okay now let me open the document of day one
so here you go now see this is the point i was discussing about pega rules process commander so pega rules process commander is an environment provided by whom pega systems i told you to develop business process management applications by using its ready made functionalities business applications can be developed without the need of coding without the need of coding when we say without the need of coding coding doesn't mean only business logic coding means html coding or javascript or anything ui related coding we don't need to do business logic related coding we don't need to do database queries we don't need to write all will be automatically generated see prpc environment it contains set of common functionalities some functionalities are already available provided i have shown you yesterday okay i am once again going to show you no need to bother about what i am doing here try to understand the concept that is pretty much fair enough so this functional component which is already provided within prpc system it is used it can be used whenever we wanted to implement email integration what is that email integration meaning that to send an email notification from pega prpc environment by communicating with a mail server amazon application once we complete the product purchase we are going to receive an email right how it will be done i'll tell you high level amazon application interacts with an email server it will share all the details of email related components what to be sent to the customer so email server will then send it so amazon application is supplying the data to email server and email server is sending the data at run time so for that interaction with email server we need to write a program correct that is the program already provided in pega you need to know the name of that program that is pretty much fair enough you don't do any changes or anything so like this there are so many ready made functionalities are already available within prpc so pega rules process commander environment while we are using that environment to develop the applications apart from no coding we can make use of predefined functional features which are already provided in the system and to implement the business requirements okay if you are using something already provided it will not take more than 2 to 3 minutes if you are doing it from the scratch it may take 1 hour to 2 hours okay so that is the advantage applications can be developed within no time okay within less span of time applications can be developed so let's come back here okay so we were using a term called application right see using different technologies like combination of html java and any database we will be building or developing one application combination of html python any database we can develop applications combination of uh, asp c sharp or vb and any database sql server like that we can develop applications we can develop applications using ui business logic and database technologies together placing overall it is one application why are you developing applications in order to process the business transactions what is the reason we are developing applications in order to process the business transactions yes or no now what is an application here that is one question see what is an application used for what does an application contains that is one question these are very basics of technology not only related to pega what is an application and what does an application contains this is a common question or maybe a universal subject that is related to any technology in this world okay so far everyone clear so now we are going to discuss about what is an application and what does it contains i'll tell you one example amazon application you are aware of right why always amazon because you might be accessing it many times you you have experience to see that many times amazon application once we get in search option will be okay account registration is there search facility is there and product catalog is there cart cart is there the cart means basket checkout is there payment processing is there see all of these are different functional components search is one functional component catalog display is one functional component account creation is one functional component 
and what else cart is one functional unit yes or no and payment checkout part is one functional component payment processing is another functional component all these functional components are inside inside what amazon application inside what amazon application what do you use it for you use it for making some business transaction some business process yes or no so application is set of functionalities which will be developed by using any technology what is the purpose of application application achieves your business goals by making the transactions by allowing you to make the transactions so application is set of functionalities means all the functionalities that are there will be there inside an application and that application is going to be used to achieve your business goals yes or no this is very basic and generic thing irrespective of whether you're a technical guy or not you will be able to easily understand okay for some of you who are already working in it industry this may sound so maybe a little bit boring but we have to understand from the beginning okay i told you example also so here when i say functional component application is set of functionalities i told these functional components may be user interface related functional components business logic related or database related all together will be there in application each functionality is going to interact with another one and work together to achieve the business goals so if you wanted to digitalize your business process by using any technology the first thing that you need to do is set up a new application after you set up new application inside the application you start creating functionalities one by one understand everyone clear so that is what we are going to do as a beginner here first what are we going to do set up a new application that is our first practical task but see here next one see types of applications what is the next one types of application this concept is universal this concept is what universal not only related to bega java dot net anywhere wherever you go this setup can be done there also see any time if you are creating a business application for a business process purpose generally if i want to create one insurance application i'll tell you some technical terminology that we use in reality okay so application i told and then types of applications theory document is there okay so two types i told but before that one technical terminology i'll tell you see business is one technical terminology technical term that we use in business comma line of business business and line of business these two terms you need to know because in interviews while you are explaining the project you should use this type of technical terms this is our business application we have these many lines of business where our application is going to process the transactions business means the entire business uh, entity see insurance if i say insurance is one business entity banking if i say banking is one business entity banking alone okay healthcare if i say that is one business entity that is overall business so insurance is overall business then what is line of business can you guess what a line of business means types of insurance are called types of insurances insurance is a business right line of business means auto insurance is one line home insurance is another line of business health insurance is third line of business and even something like this life insurance is fourth line of business. these are all different streams engineering okay that is one academy okay within engineering what do you have different lines of that is what you call branches right same concept okay cse otherwise mechanical ece it like this you have right same way business is entire business insurance if it is one business within that you have different lines of business see today i am going to set up a business process digital business process using some technology for my insurance <coughs> policy processing system right see any business owner should think about the future enhancements also should think about what future. it is not only today in future how you redesign your business okay 
considering about the future enhancements your setup should be robust your setup should be what robust means strong strong setup strong foundation should be there then it will be easy in future while you are going to expand it okay okay i'll tell you one example we are an insurance company today we are pros we are giving only life insurance to the customers that is the only business we have nothing else i will create one application okay insurance application in that i'll create all functionalities of life insurance clear and tomorrow i wanted to introduce one more type of insurance business line of business in my into my business that is let's say for example auto insurance is there any way auto and life uh, life insurance are related both are two different streams correct now you are expanding your business when you are expanding your business are you going to do everything from the scratch once again are you going to do everything from the scratch you had set up one restaurant first branch you have you had set up okay for one year you struggled a lot to streamline the entire process to understand the business you struggled a lot completed one year completed now business is somewhat smoothly running you are going to set up this is in hyderabad you are going to set up one more branch in some other city okay let's say you are trying to set up in karim nagar second branch while you set up what are you going to do is it going to be little bit easier than the previous time or the same struggle it is going to be easier why it is going to be easier when you are setting up a second branch you tell me why it is easier already we know the we know how to maintain and manage already you have some applied set of rules on branch 1 same you bring and apply on branch 2 yes or no but little bit of new things may be there based on situation and circumstances but between these two there can be some common things yes or no you don't need to struggle expansion is easy when you have a robust robust foundation in the past whatever you have already utilized here at location 1 same you take and apply at location 2 understand some of the things may not be everything as per the circumstances at least 50% you can apply right 50% is easy yes or no right the same way whenever you are going to create a business application you should think about the future enhancements you create the business application instead of one you create two instead of one how many you create two i'll tell you what are those two one is framework another one is implementation what is this framework i am going to explain you now <coughs> see framework is like a template for your better understanding is our understanding template means template means this is a form of structure which you use for any implementation okay template means it is a common structure see i will tell you one example uh, you know about the ganesh idols that will be made right so how they will be making this ganesh idols there will be already a predefined template yes or no one template will be ready made available they will bring that uh, uh, plaster of paris or whatever it is the clay let's say clay add it into the template they got idol one and then again add clay into the same template idol two what is the advantage of template one template now for each and every output you are getting for each and every expansion you are doing you don't need to do the things from scratch once again yes or no everyone clear online resources following yes or no okay so first we need to design a template that is most important advantage is what you don't need to do the same thing again from the scratch while you are enhancing it okay first one line of business second line of business third line of business while you are enhancing you don't need to do the things from scratch so now framework contains common functionalities common functionalities which we need across entire business across entire business okay insurance is a business okay insurance is a business within insurance i have two different lines of businesses vehicle insurance and health insurance insurance is framework vehicle insurance and health insurance are 
implementation line of business is called as implementation understand now for vehicle insurance health insurance what are the common functional components a person who is going to take vehicle insurance or a person who is going to take health insurance any of these two do we need to collect the basic details of a customer yes or no customer details we need to collect so customer details user interface screen is it a common screen for any of the insurances or specific common common or specific we need to think about between two it is common so common screen or common functional component we place inside framework if you place inside framework the advantage is any implementation can access it because your implementations will be placed on top of implementations will have access to framework implementations can go to framework and access mm -hmm. what is provided in the framework everyone clear so implementations you are going to create on top of the framework so implementations can access anything that is provided in the framework because framework is a common facility okay we have a tv double bedroom flat is there we have a tv in bedroom one only people who are sitting inside bedroom one only can watch bedroom two if you want to watch then we need another tv setup how many times you are setting up the tv two times instead of this we want to use only one tv where both of them can come together and watch where should i place it in the common hall common hall i am going to place the tv anyone can commonly access it as or no same concept you set up your application as a template first framework application common functionality are specific think about it how do you know it when you understand the business then only you'll come to know knowing the technology you cannot decide you need to know the business so when you know the business it is a common functionality create inside framework so today we have two implementations those can access the functionality of framework tomorrow if i if i add one more implementation by extending my business on top of existing framework can that third implementation able to access the feature that is already available in framework yes or no yes, yes or no so it can access right so if you are extending your application by adding one more implementation on top of framework tomorrow there is no need to once again create that customer details form already it is available create once use many times as you go on extending you understand the advantage now you understand the advantage so why you don't directly set up to create only one application why you have to create minimum two even though you have one line of business today the recommendation of best practice is create two set up framework and then set up that business process as implementation you don't have second implementation still go with the same process why who knows tomorrow you are extending tomorrow you are going to extend your business right be optimistic tomorrow if i add one more line of business i don't want to do the things from the scratch once again created so that's the reason why framework application contains common functionalities which are needed across entire business whereas implementation applications what is the other one implementation application contains specific functionalities which are needed for specific line of business yes or no specific line of business everyone following online respond on the chatting window everyone of you are you following so far are you clear what is framework what is implementation framework or implementation both are applications only but framework application contains common functionalities across entire business whereas implementation application contains specific functionalities that that are related to specific line of business i will add one more point the functionality which is available in implementation one will not be accessible to implementation two will not be accessible. see if i place a printer in bedroom one will that be accessible to bedroom two no if i place it in hall everyone can access right same concept your property will not be given to your brother no no but your father property both of you can take yes or no something like that inheritance concept i will come to inheritance technical terminology later understand clear everyone 
siblings cannot access the functionalities of each other okay clear everyone so these are sibling applications now see framework application is meant for maintaining the common functionalities which can be reused across different implementation applications implementation application will have specific functionalities related to specific line of business specific line of business understand now this is an example here you can see in the diagram i will maximize a little bit see insurance framework is there on top of it vehicle insurance health insurance are there customer details form is it specific or common common address details i want to collect billing shipping address specific or common common only right the insurance you are taking address form is same email integration at the end i want to send email integration for that communication i need to come create one email component content may change but overall email functionality is same or not common payment screen common common functionalities you place in framework that will be accessible to all implementation all implementations can access these common features understand everyone clear scroll down <laughs> now for example suppose if i wanted to create one screen collecting the vehicle details collecting the vehicle details i want to collect vehicle details and driver details of the vehicle also now the screen if i want to create is it specific or common it is specific health insurance do you need to collect any vehicle details no, no. so it is specific to only vehicle insurance where would you create that in the vehicle insurance implementation will create so i wanted to dis create a screen to display the coverages of health health insurance if you are taking there will be some coverages person will be covered under uh, some chronic diseases will mention that some regular diseases 24 by 24 hours hospitalization this will be covered for this i need to create a screen to display information to for customer to select it is specific or generic it is specific to only health insurance that you create in the health insurance application implementation so how do you how are you saying whether it is specific or common how are you guys saying that because you understood the business you don't understand the business will you be able to say that so you are a technical person okay but at the same time you should know about the business also okay so a person who wanted to be number one in technology development and all more than technology business wise they should have to have good knowledge 50 percent is your technical 50 percent is business knowledge okay if you join a new project you need you need some time one week or two weeks to understand the application functionalities but technology you do you need time because if you are joining as an experience resource do you need time to understand technology you already know that's why we have hired you correct if you are a fresher you are learning both okay so that is what see you need to focus on not only the technical aspects but also functional aspects what is the functional functional aspect also you need to understand okay now you see here what is the advantage okay and we are saying from the beginning two types of applications are there framework and implementation application common functionalities we would be preferring to create in the framework not only preferring that must be created specific functionalities we would be creating in implementation but what is the reason you are doing all this what is the advantage if you set up like this can i not create everything in single application and do it i can practically i can but i am not doing it considering the best practices and best approaches what are the advantages reusability of features yes or no create only once at one place use it multiple places yes or no and easy to maintain only one place it is there make changes one place everywhere else it will be reflected you don't need to do 10 times repair only one place if you repair it will be reflecting everywhere understand and easy to extend the business process yes or no your business can be extended easily without recreating the things once again from the scratch clear everyone reusability of features easy to maintain easy to extend the business process in future business processes okay 
and the final advantage is excellent you will be making a profit by selling it as a separate product i'll tell you what is it for example imagine this is this is a new days of banking that digital banking and all and there is a new uh, uh, product introduced into the market called as credit card what is it credit card see we are introducing a new digital process or product into the market as a banking system in india the new product is called as credit card see in order to provide a credit card to the customer we need certain process to be defined right collect the document register the customer collect the documents of the customer verify the documents of the customer and then provide an approval and go to the finance team and decide what is the credit limit that can be given to this card and disperse the card yes or no this is the business process of credit card high level the latest days the idea is now in the market by the banking system all banks wanted to bring this into the market they need an application to process all this yes or no all banks have started developing the application by using their own technologies some banks have dot net some banks java some banks something else whatever it can be now now tell me one thing this credit card issuance processing system if bank 1 develops bank 2 develops bank 3 develops all of them are going to develop the same system right most of the features and functionalities of this credit card issuance system even the banks are different the functional components for most of these people functionalities are same or not uh, let's say for example 90% it will match your bank is processing or my bank is processing any other bank is processing credit card issuance system your system my system will match 90% what is the 10% logos and some calculations of uh, credit score considerations and credit limit considerations and discounts offers all that on top of it points and all. that is that logics related stuff may change between you and me but other than that most of the things are same now now whatever that is available as a common one we created as a framework on top of it we added one implementation with specific things overall both together is credit card issuance processing system understand now how many layers you have two layers of applications framework layer implementation layer the advantage is framework layer you can take it separately okay you need to imagine like two slices of bread okay cakes two slices of cake one slice is framework another one is can i take it separately yes or no now the common functionalities everything i have developed into framework on top of it implementation i added my specific functionalities are there i have taken that layer cake of framework placed it outside it is there with me i taken the copy of it now i went to another bank hey you started developing i know the credit card issuance system we have already developed completed anyhow you are going to set up team for a development and you are going to purchase the license from some technology and you have to start developing it you don't do it we will sell this framework as a product to you okay you pay me for example you pay me 1 million dollars per year okay use it on top of it just you need to add your implementations will guide you about about the same instead of waiting for one year you can come into market within 3 months start your business along with us okay i can say this yes or no is it only one bank i am going to sell this product to n number of banks across the globe i can sell having a license with me now what is the final advantage i am achieving having this framework design i am making money out of it. the development cost whatever i had put am i returning am i getting the returns of it by selling it yes or no that is another final advantage of having a design like framework and implementation today you might be using it tomorrow someone else wanted to use it. they are going to do it from the scratch instead of that much of investment i will sell it come into market no problem as a competitor to me but give me some money out of it okay clear that is how a business mindset should be okay it's not that we will only live in the market we have to share the knowledge with everyone else we will grow others will grow when others are growing along with us then only we will grow otherwise we will never grow
you understand why i am saying as a student okay so here you go now so that is the final thing reusability of features easy to maintain easy to extend and financial profit also we can make out of it understand and now scroll upside everyone clear so far i explained about what is an application what are the types of application what is the advantage of creating two types of application to set up even one business okay so everyone clear online resources respond on the charting window everyone asha one doubt yes go ahead um asha you told like um, we can use the functionalities of um, framework uh, framework application in implementation application right yes yes can we can, can we actually edit the functionalities of framework application See, from implementation that is also one more point but i did not go in depth at the beginning framework one functionality is there i will access into implementation as it is i can use little bit of changes i want then i can edit it i can i can copy entirely little bit of changes i can make it in implementation the changes will reflect into my business process that is possible okay now you see here see we need to understand little bit more about some terminologies in pega see while we are working with pega we are going to use some terminology called ootb stands for out of the box i will explain you that see so far from our discussion what you understand is application contains functionalities sir functionalities are there inside some roof that is called as application yes or no pega rules process commander environment we use for application development where it has predefined functionalities yes or no Yes, some functional yeah. components are already present inside pega rules process command environment does it mean pega rules process command environment is also an application can i call it as or no can we call prbc instead of a tool or a system can i call it as apart from that as an application as or no yes. so pega rules process command environment contains some functionalities already made available that means pega rules process command environment is also an application so pega rules process command environment is a, as an application by name what is the name pega platform whenever you are using the credentials administrator at the rate pega.com administrator at the rate pega.com password install when you use this credentials it is redirecting you to or uh, taking you inside an application by name what is the name pega platform pega platform application contains all predefined functionalities yes or no what is the use of those predefined functionalities i would be making use of those functionalities in my application my business process application without recreating from the scratch yes or no that means these are common functionalities for any business product that you want to develop yes or no common functionalities are not if those are common functionalities for different business sectors more precisely can i say pega platform is a framework application can i say that yes or no respond on the charting window or respond here in the classroom yes. please yes. you can call it as a framework so more it's precisely pega platform yes. contains predefined functionalities which are common functionalities for different sectors of the business purchase pega platform license develop any sector of business application use its predefined functionalities you are using into different businesses means that is common functionalities or not so that means pega platform more precisely it is a framework application as yes or no online people so instead yes, of so looking at pega platform as yes. a tool yes. you can even consider that is a one framework application having some built in functionalities which can be used by any vendor to develop their business applications clear everyone what is the name of that application pega platform i am using two terms called built in predefined what did you understand built in or predefined what does it mean 
built in or i am using predefined what does it mean what do you understand which is already is commonly exist inside the system for this there is one technical term that you need to use in pega these are very generic ovotb out of the box abbreviation is what out of the box see this term means predefined or built in what does it mean predefined or built in if i use the terminology ovotb functionality which means that already provided by pega already provided by pega in this tool everyone clear online resources yes. ovotb means what like this there are so many send email notification update case status commit with error handling so many ovotb functionalities we are going to use while we are working on pega after that operator id after that what operator id is the login id which we use to log into prpc operator what is the meaning the person who log into prpc is called as operator i am operator i have a login id that is called as operator id okay and ovotb and all also it is been told. okay see pega platform application we also call it as pega rules application what do you call it pega rules application which i will tell you once again later okay so now if we are going to create our business application going forward this is the structural output that we are going to get already pega platform is there with some functionalities that is one framework framework one already we purchased we installed clear everyone on top of it for my business i am going to create one framework total how many frameworks you have so is it, it is possible to have multiple frameworks in a business yes sir no. already pega platform is one framework on top of it i am creating my business specific framework entire business framework framework 2 on top of framework 2 i am going to create implementation 1 implementation 2 this implementation can access functionalities of framework 2 as well as framework 1 everything will be accessible to top level understand so today overall what did we discuss what is pega rules process commander environment it is used to do application development by using its ready made functionalities and yeah next what is an application application contains set of functionalities how many types of applications two types of applications framework implementation framework application contains common functionalities implementation application contains specific functionalities the functionalities of framework will be accessible to implementations all you have to be accessible to everyone whoever is there in the house right and the advantage of the structural design of framework and implementation is reusability easy to extend easy to maintain final advantage is financially we can get a benefit of selling it as a product to different business clients and then operator id is the login id which we used to log into pega operator is the person who is the login going to log into pega and one final thing is pega platform is also an application pega platform is also an application in fact a framework application with so many common functionalities of different businesses everyone clear what is another technical term we learn ovotb out of the box meaning that provided inside prpc system built in predefined clear these are the points we discussed everyone clear anyone has any doubt or any question that you wanted to check with everyone clear i will be sharing this document theory document is there right overall okay that see it is very simple to understand okay when you sit have time of one hour take your own notebook don't write everything write down the highlight points the di diagrams by yourself how long does it take it will not take more than five minutes to draw but if you draw once picture will be there forever in your brain okay you will never forget you will understand even much more than what you understand now okay you will get a doubt question yourself try to find out the solution by yourself once you find the solution that is for lifetime you will never forget okay that's the way to start your your preparation understand 
don't simply throw your books or these things once after the session is done session is done over one hour you just keep it as keep aside still you understand in the session now till you go back say it and go point by point in the theory document just try to analyze as per your brain processing capability draw the diagrams write down highlighted 11 points i told at the end right you don't need to write down everything those 11 points framework application common functionalities it contains implementation application specific functionalities implementation can access framework functionalities and advantages of this structure like this highlighted points you write down just for your better understanding and remembering purpose prepare your own notes also if possible if you have time okay and draw diagrammatically anything that you wanted to clearly understand by yourself once again in your notes okay it will not take much time okay clear everyone start your preparation from today itself please don't neglect this considering or saying yourself that i already understand in the class you understand i know but you will forget after a few days definitely you'll forget so if you don't want to forget in future today itself it should be settled in your brain as a xerox copy okay for that take a notes Re revising your notes is easier than this document yes or no okay that's why i am recommending that based on your time and availability do it okay but don't write everything in the notes that's a waste of time highlighted points only you write down for revision purpose if i say something while going on interview question while uh, playing back this video you again draft it in your notes okay so i'll be adding this document in the google classroom and this video will be shared to you after some time conversion uploading will take time and i request every one of you please finish your fees payments as uh, guided by the management okay i think they would have reached out to you by this time sending you all the details by this time all of you would have decided how to proceed forward okay for those today is the first session you can decide based on today's session watch the videos of previous sessions there are many people from usa alekia you will come to know only after they join the group okay you'll come to know i will just uh, make all of you introduce each other no worries yes someone was trying to ask a question what was that is anyone trying to ask something see no, no, sir. no sir. okay good okay i'll tell you one thing learning is also one practice means you need to learn to know how to learn that is also one thing the practice what we had during our academics i don't think so that is a proper way of practice i'm not saying it is completely wrong okay but that is what did we do we read one question we read answer for the question we will try to remember present the same in the exam to get marks correct that is going to make us not to focus on the subject okay at the end of the day you do not understand the purpose of the lesson but you are getting 90 100 marks instead of reading this five to six questions at the end of the lesson what if you have read the lesson from beginning to ending five to six times you will clearly understand the subject these five questions you will be able to answer other than these five if they give seventh or sixth or seventh question also which is not in the list still will you be able to answer why you are able to answer because you did not go through the subject as just a question and answer i am talking about your interview preparation don't bother about question and answer perspective that we are giving as a model model how a question can be framed those are models actually but we are taking it as an ultimate thing not correct focus on subject understand the subject beginning to ending properly you will master it you, you will frame your own questions in a different way than anyone else okay so i will tell you the methodology of learning going forward once again but as of now after this session is done take your free time of one hour one and a half hour sit there open this document read the document two to three times while reading don't write immediately read twice you will get summary idea sit down write the summary points draw the diagrams connect it accordingly try to understand it may take one to one and a half hour subject is forever marks are temporary 
okay marks knowledge is temporary knowledge subject knowledge is for lifetime okay fine we can wind up for today we'll continue on monday our session will be next session will be on monday today in india it is friday tomorrow saturday day after tomorrow sunday tomorrow day after tomorrow there is no class okay monday will be the next class please understand other country resources kindly understand that and we'll be joining back on monday by the time you come back here on monday your installation should be done and you need to reach out to us any installation help only till saturday please do not disturb on sunday that is a request okay saturday between 11 to 4 30 max that's it usa people will send me the screenshot i'll take care so you have to reach out on 9652532753 that number only don't send me he will help you admin team are there they will help you with installation send a screenshot of it finish your installation process this weekend at any cost monday will be the practical of what we have discussed now at the very beginning itself 15 minutes i will explain you the environment then practical okay monday 45 minutes we will create framework application implementation application both we will finish on monday understand first thing is theory you need to understand clearly then only practical okay we cannot directly go into practical that is not the correct way okay okay that's it from my end okay you can wind up thank you so much everyone will continue on monday thank you please follow the process certain rules you have to follow and